Well, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, June 2nd. I'm Maggie Flecno, and this is Houston Happens. Now, normally, as you all know, I take the show on the road, but this Friday, our guests took the road to us. We are actually doing a special food truck Friday live outside our studio. Plus, is donuts, you know. Yeah, see what I did there? Producer Lou, hopefully you're laughing back there. It's National Donut Day, and we are celebrating with Yonuts. This is a really cool concept. That and more is headed your way, so what do you say? Let's get this show started. Starting, of course, with today's top talker. Okay, question for you all. Would you quit your job to move to Hawaii and live off the grid? Well, that's exactly what one Cali guy did. Check it out. They call 35-year-old Robert Breton off the grid Tarzan. He actually worked as a grocery store cashier in 2020 when he decided to leave his life and start a new adventure living off the grid in the Hawaiian jungle. He bought some land and built his own tree house, you all. He also says he's living 100% off of rainwater and grows all of his own food. He does pay for a Wi-Fi router so you can catch all of his adventures on his Instagram and TikTok. So here's my question. Would you guys be able to live off the grid and leave everything behind? I sometimes wish I had that type of spirit. I get a little envious. This looks very tempting, but I have to say it is definitely a no for me. Plus, you wouldn't get to experience our next guest if you lived off the grid, right? And do not, or do not, be grumpy this morning because, are you guys ready for this? It is National Donut Day, and we are celebrating with Yonuts Pearland. Welcome the owner, Chris Allen. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Thanks for having me, Maggie. Appreciate I'm really it. excited about this. So tell us a little bit about Yonuts and the journey, Shark Tank and all of this. Yes, so Yonuts started in 2018. Guy and his wife bought a, uh, a kind of struggling yogurt shop, got rid of the yogurt, put in ice cream, uh, loved the name that was there, so they kept that. And then they put donuts and ice cream together. What they started doing was something called a smash donut. So they take a whole donut, cut it in half, put ice cream in the middle, hot press it back together with this little machine I've got here, cut it open again and put a bunch of beautiful toppings on it. Donut stays cold in the inside with the ice cream, hot outside. And what? it's a, an absolutely fantastical dessert. Okay, I know everybody is drooling at home. So can you actually walk us through this? Yeah. So and you were telling me your donuts are different. You don't fry them. Yeah, so you're not going to get that kind of heavy, uh, you know, oily feeling afterwards. Right. We, we bake them and finish them in our shop. So it's, a, it's a little bit different. Okay, but so show us the process. What I'm going to make today, we call our strawberry shortcake smash donut. Oh so my gosh. I'm going to take this donut shell. It's not the ring type. It's the type okay. you would put, you know, a filling in. Okay. I'm going to take some strawberry uh, jelly, put it on the inside. Uh-huh. Grab a scoop of ice cream down here. Okay. This is amazing. And the fact that it does not melt the ice cream. Then I'm going to kind of seal it back together. Okay. Put it in this hot press here for about eight seconds. Look at this. And you guys just, just opened in Pearland? We did, March 31st. So uh, we just hit two months. Pearland Town Center, Suite 430, right next to Barnes & Noble. So Look at this. That's done. Pull it out. As you see, no ice cream spilling out. And now I'm just going to cut it right down the middle. I feel like you're like a David Copperfield. Like, this is magic. It looks like a magic trick. You guys, the, right how there. did it not melt? Exactly. It, it's protected on the inside. So then we do what we call put a little drizzle on it, dress it up. Oh, my gosh. And then we top this one with some strawberry crumbs. This is amazing. Look at all. I, I mean, I can't even. There you go. It's. It's like a little ice cream sandwich, but with a oh, donut, and but better. it tastes better. even better. And then looking at these flavors, tell me about what is your favorite flavor, would you say? I, I'll hold these up so you guys can see them. So many people would call me boring. I like just the chocolate with M&Ms here, oh, but we yeah. also make very beautiful uh, different things like cookies and cream. The unicorn is a hit with the kids. I Strawberry bet. cheesecake. We actually have one that's filled with cookie dough as well. What? So yes. I An think that one, and the us. s'mores. Yep, and the s'mores. We actually toast those those marshmallows in shop. And I know my husband, Biscoff, he is 
lo he loves Biscoff. Absolutely. That's his it favorite thing when we were on the plane. <laughs> So now he's going to have to go on over to Pearland. Tell everybody how we can celebrate with you guys today on this National Donut Day. Yeah, so today we're doing a couple different things. Starting at 8 a.m., we're already open um, through 4 p.m. If you go in, anybody who goes in gets a free classic donut. So, you know, glaze, cinnamon, sugar, that type of stuff. And then starting at 4 p.m., every hour on the hour, first 10 people in the store get a free smashed donut of their choice. Okay, so tell everybody once again where you're located so that they can come visit you. Suite 430, 11200 Broadway Street, Pearland Town Center. All right, sounds good. And again, you guys saw the magic happen right here live. Ice cream in the middle of a smashed donut. It's truly amazing. And look at these beautiful creations. Definitely want to go and check it out. No better place, in my opinion, to celebrate National Donut Day. Thanks so much. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you, Maggie. And it's pretty much a foodie Friday around here. So from donuts to food trucks, stay tuned. We're serving up more Houston Happens after the break. Cheers to you guys. Can't escape justice. She was gonna get me. What'd you do? I hear <laughs> Judge Mattis. Next on CW39 Houston. A Cuomo exclusive. She said that she was done with JJ. Convicted murderer Lori Vallow's ex-best friend joins Chris for her first live interview since the guilty verdict. Tonight on Cuomo, only on News Nation. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. We all have some place to go to work, to school, to see our loved ones, or just to get away. No matter how we choose to get there, the ride has its dangers. And when serious injuries happen to good people, they turn to Terry Bryant to make things right. Car crash? You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. 713-973-8888. Who can you call when you need immediate help, any time of day or night? Always giving you and your family peace of mind. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not going to be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Join today for less than $5 a month. We'll waive the membership admission fee. And as a special bonus, you'll receive a free one-year membership for two additional eligible family members and a $25 Visa gift card. That's a combined value of up to $174 for only $59 for an annual membership. Don't wait another second. Call to join AAA right now. If you're not 100% sure you're getting 100% of the Medicare benefits you deserve, Kelsey Care Advantage is here to help with a free Medicare plan checkup. Call now to speak with one of our Houston-based Medicare specialists. We'll help determine your specific needs and ensure you are receiving all the Medicare benefits you qualify for. Best of all, if you switch to Kelsey Care Advantage, our five-star rating by Medicare means you can enroll year-round. Call for your free Medicare plan checkup today, 713-442-8521. Respect. Would you both like to settle the case that way? Plaintiff, defendant. The People's Court. Wonderful. People's Court, today at 11 on CW39 Houston. If you are called on to give CPR in an emergency, you will most likely be trying to save the life of someone you know or love. Our next guest is Dr. Komia Sassen, Vice President of Emergency Card Cardiovascular Care Science and Innovative at the American Heart Association. She has more. Learning how to do CPR is really important in a cardiac arrest emergency. And that's why the American Heart Association is asking you during National CPR Week, June 1st through the 7th, to help us build a nation of lifesavers, people who know what to do if a cardiac arrest emergency happens. We know that 350,000 people in the United States every year will have a cardiac arrest event happen, and only about 40%, so less than half of them will have CPR performed by a bystander. And that's why it's so important that you know what to do if a cardiac arrest happens. So what do you do? Well, if someone suddenly collapses, what you're gonna wanna do is first call 911 and send someone to go get an AED. And second, start pushing hard and fast in the center of the chest at about 100 to 120 beats per minute. 
that's to the tune of Stand Alive or Shakira's My Hips Don't Lie. And you're going to push about two, at least two inches deep for an adult. Again, this is for teens and adults. We still want you to learn CPR with breasts, and it's really important, especially for drowning victims, for children and infants, that you know how to do compressions and breaths as well. We are building a nation of lifesavers with the Heart Association, and we hope that you will join us by learning three simple things how to do CPR, knowing where your AED is, and having a plan in place and being prepared if a cardiac arrest emergency happens. We are asking you to go to the American Heart Association's website at cpr.heart.org. There you've got free resources that you can learn CPR, you can share it with your family and friends, and most importantly, you can also find a class and you can get some additional training as well. We know that CPR saves lives, and CPR can even double or even triple your chances of surviving a cardiac arrest event. We also know that the vast majority of these events will happen at home, and so the life that you are gonna save is gonna be likely somebody you know or love. So please join us as we build a nation of lifesavers and turn our bystanders into lifesavers. Miles! Wanna get out of here? Oh, win? So wait a minute. There's an elite crew with all the best spider people in it? Uh, who's the new guy? This is unbelievable. And may I present to you what will likely be the Academy Award-winning Best Animated Film of 2023. Really, one of the best movies of the year, period. It's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the sequel to the Oscar-winning Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse from 2018, easily as exciting and inventive and cleverly assembled as the original, something that sequels usually don't do very well. In it, young Miles Morales has become more confident confident in his abilities as New York City's favorite and most famous vigilante as he takes on a new villain but also brings in a whole new world of spider men and women to join the fight. Irish Latino Spider-Man, Bollywood Spider-Man, a spider punk, even a pregnant spider woman. Returning to the franchise as the leads Miles and Gwen are Shamik Moore and Haley Steinfeld. Joined by superstar newcomers Daniel Kaluuya, Issa Rae, Oscar Isaac and many more more, each adding so much more than the kind of cameo drive-bys that you usually get in movies like this. That said, the real power here is the pure creativity of this movie. From start to finish, beautiful animation, compelling characters, and a completely original story that draws you in and holds you for every second of the two-hour, 20-minute length, both with fun and excitement, and also important themes like loyalty and heroism and celebrating one another. Add on the music and the visuals, and you've got the continuation of a Spider-Man for a new generation. It'll be hard to watch a Spider-Man movie with actual humans from now on. This one is clearly the gold standard and a Dean's List A. Also new this week, there's The Boogeyman, a sacrificial scare offering about a grieving family following the death of a loved one whose house is infected with a supernatural spirit that feeds on the suffering of its victims. While there are plenty of creepy moments and jump scares in The Boogeyman, this one is more average than it is anything else. I gave it a Dean's List C-. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. Well, we are kicking the weekend off right. I'm so excited because it is Food Truck Friday. Food trucks, they're becoming increasingly popular, not just for you to go and pop in and get some lunch, but for all of your celebrations from weddings to graduation, showers, and so much more. So we have some friends that have rolled on up outside of our studio. We have Erin with Twister Grilled Cheese. So good to have you. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you for having us back. I love it. Normally you're in studio, yes. and here you brought the party out. Outside. So tell us a little bit about your food truck. So we brought Big Yellow out here. I, I like so that. Big Yellow, the big bullseye, right? You can't miss it. Um, she's available for all events, right? Graduations, parties, first birthday parties, corporate events, you name it, we're ready. So why are food trucks so popular, would you say? I think it's awesome just because you get the versatility so the food can come to you, right? right. 
So it's not like you have to go to the restaurant. You can have your own party. Don't have to worry about your kitchen getting messed up, you know, catering, setting up. We can bring the whole party to you. Hey, and let me tell you, it's a party in your mouth when you have some of this grilled cheese. What are you serving up, girl? A little bit of everything. So we're going to start with the five cheese classic and the classic with bacon. These are mm -hmm. our staples. Classic grilled cheese, ooey gooey, as you can see, ready. Okay. Yes, Parmesan waffle fries. We've got the halal Philly cheesesteak. And so for the parties and events, they're customizable. So people can get whatever they want. They can let us know, hey, we want gluten free. We want halal. Oh um, we've got a halal Philly steak. We've got truffle onion rings. Of course, the smokehouse brisket. Oh. Fan favorite. One of my favorites. It's summertime, right? Yes. So you got to have the brisket. So it's just smoked beef brisket. Amazing. Jalapenos, barbecue sauce. You can't miss it. This is going to be the spinach and artichoke. It's oozing right now. So it's got spinach, artichoke, good cheeses, just tasty. Yeah. We've got the gluten-free classic. It's so cute. I love it. It's that. so cute. So the guests who, you know, have needs for gluten-free, they're really excited about it because they're being more included and they can get any sandwich on gluten-free bread. And this I is at our it. restaurants or the food truck. Jeez. Yeah. And so look at these. Wait, these look new. I've not seen those ones. Those are funnel cake fries. Stop. That's right. They're Shut up and take my money, honey. You know you want to, right? <laughs> so they're shareable or not, right? Uh, maybe not. That maybe might be not. my whole maybe entree. Right? Exactly. <laughs> but they're super tasty. You've got powdered sugar, caramel, chocolate, um, and you can also get some ice cream on the side if you'd like. Oh my gosh. So as a small business owner, yeah. what does it feel like to see, you know, big yellow roll up to all these parties and your food being served everywhere? It's amazing. We're super excited. It's great to have, you know, people reach out and want to book the truck and just say, hey, we want to bring the cheesy goodness to our house. We went to your restaurant. It's so awesome. We love your story. We know you guys started a few years ago. Right. So we're just thankful. And if you guys want to also check them out, you just opened another place, though, for us to go eat. Memorial City. Oh, totally. Memorial City Mall. You can't miss it in the food court, bright and ready for action. How do you do all of this and balance and be a mom and all that? You know, it's about balance. It's about being organized and just kind of going with the flow, ready for anything. You inspire me. I always say that she adds sunshine to my day. So I love having you. You definitely want to book them. And then I'm so excited because they just debuted their food truck. We have our friends with Lotus Seafood. And I heard you have quite a few nicknames, my friend. Oh, yeah. They, uh, everyone calls me Buddha. It's oh. a childhood nickname I've always had since I was uh, very young. But tell everybody your real name. My, my real name is Jason Lee. Jason Lee. Yes, but we also like Buddha. Buddha. I love that. They told me Buddha was here, and I was very intrigued. Now, I have to say, my husband and I, we have ordered your food. Absolutely love it. But now this food truck. Tell us about this. Okay, so we just opened the food truck. It's brand new. You know, now we got Lotus on wheels. We can take it anywhere. We can bring Lotus to you. You know, your private events, your parties, your graduation, you know. Anything you need, you know, Lotus can be there for you. And you guys, this is really good seafood, and I'm pretty picky about the seafood. So tell me a little bit about what you're serving up over so here. Right here, I got uh, fried fish and shrimp. Mm -hmm. I got a uh, Cajun Alfredo pasta. I got chicken wings, uh, loaded French fries. This is our new item right here. I was like, what is that? This is called the Alfredo Bowl. It's a fried rice with blackened fish and shrimp with Alfredo sauce on top. Oh, my gosh. And then, of course, you know, we got our uh, famous fully loaded Lao Pak and our Lao Pak right here. We also have lemonade, crack sauce. What's your favorite? My favorite is definitely the fully loaded Lao Pak. Why, but what makes it so special, would you well, say? I love, I love rice, I love the Cajun seasoning, and I love uh, boiled shrimp. So they got everything I want in one plate. So what are some of the challenges of having a food truck? Is it harder than actually just being inside of a normal kitchen? Well, the, the only issue I have right now is it's really hot in the food truck. Yeah, they don't other than that, Other than that, it's the same thing, just a little smaller. Yeah, and seeing this, like your sign and everything on wheels on this food truck, what does that mean to you? It makes me it makes me very happy. Yeah. It makes me very happy. And yes. to everybody out there that has a dream of having a restaurant and having a food truck, what would you say to them? Uh well, work hard, be determined. Yeah. I love that. Serving up some really good piece of advice. So again, Lotus Seafood, where are your other locations besides the food truck? Uh, so we have one on uh, Westheimer and Kirkwood, mm -hmm. one on 59 and Bissonette. We have one in Pearland and one in Stafford. And one on the north side. All right, but in the meantime, I mean, I think this is a really great idea to have these food trucks at parties because you'll be the hostess with the mostest for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, Most thank you for rolling on up thank and serving so much, up Maggie. these delicious Thank you so much seeds. for having us here. Yes, where can people go for more and to book you? Uh, you can go to our Instagram, Lotus Seafood. Okay. And then we also have a, a email info at lotus-seafood.com. All right, sounds good. And Aaron, I have to say thank you again. Tell everybody again at home where they can go to book you. So they can go um, to twistedgrillcheese.com or you can find us anywhere on social media at Twisted Grilled Cheese. You can also email us info at twistedgrilledcheese.com. We're here. Yes, they are definitely here. Again, you guys, thank you so much. I absolutely love celebrating Friday with Food Truck Friday. It doesn't get better than this. And we're going to see. I know it gets hot out here, and we're wearing black. We're not very smart about that. But let me tell you, it's very flattering. And...
Tito, she's going to give us the forecast for any of your events that you have going on. So that and more after the break. Stay tuned for more Houston Happens. In the meantime, I'm going to have some grilled cheese and some seafood. All right, stay tuned for more Houston Happens. Bye for now, everybody. <laughs> Thank in the next 30 seconds, 250 couples will need to make room for a nursery. 26 people will go all in. Yes. This family will get two bathrooms. And finally, one vacationer will say, Yeah, whew, I'm going to live here. But as the euphoria subsides, the realization hits. i got to sell the house. Don't worry. Just sell and buy in one move when you start with Open Door. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Start with an all-cash offer at opendoor.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. When you're hit from behind in a car crash, the insurance company may try to say, you can't possibly be hurt. It was only a few miles an hour. It's simply not true. You see, here's the thing. Getting hit at 10 miles per hour is like falling off of this. 15 miles per hour, like this. And only 25 miles per hour, this. Injured, dial pound law. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. If you or a loved one spent time stationed or working at Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987, this important message from the Sentinel Group is for you. For nearly 34 years, leaking underground tanks contaminated the drinking water at Camp Lejeune with highly carcinogenic chemicals. A new law recently signed by President Biden sets aside a multi-billion dollar fund separate from your veterans' claim to compensate those affected. Please call 800-399-2088. When it comes to defending what's rightfully yours, Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, is definitely tougher. Sorry, Crusher. Is your life a wreck after a big bad wreck? My client was rear-ended by an 18-wheeler. She fractured her back and clavicle. She needed surgery. I got her four million dollars. Let Jim Adler do your fighting. Call 24-7. Call now for a free case evaluation. Let's go kick some tails. I've never been late to school before. I'm late all the time. It's no big deal. I get you to school on time every day. Why are you late? I had a lot of people to say hi to in the morning. Young Sheldon, tonight at 6 and 6.30 on CW39 Houston. Before this Galveston-based team of United States military veterans competes in the Ocean Globe race around the world, they need to finish raising the necessary funds. Skeleton Crew Adventures has been helping veterans with PTSD heal through sailing for many years. As the only U.S. team in the race, their goal is to bring more awareness of veterans suffering from PTSD. They leave Galveston on June 10th and need your help now. To donate, please click on the QR code or go to skeletoncrewadventures.org. Here is a look at today's sponsored content. And um, I ran in here. It is, I, I felt like I was getting a little, little glowy. <laughs> I, was, I was sweating a little by those food trucks. It gets hot and it's already hot out there on the pavement. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, and then I was running in here. I definitely got my steps in today. <laughs> well, at least you're wearing like actual deodorant. Sometimes I get caught outside Wait. doing like physical activity wearing natural deodorant. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you and this natural stuff. <laughs> Everything's natural. And I'm like, give me the chemicals under my pit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to make sure I can be like up here. <laughs> Yeah, it's natural. You, I feel like I, it doesn't work as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you should see me when um, I'm like really warm and I'm wearing a natural deodorant. Like I'm just like, like naturally trying to create you know my own. Is that you take the seat cushions and you put them in under your pits, but you've got to make sure that you take them out before we keep it real. Wow. And <laughs> ladies, everyone, they are not endorsing my show, but they should. Mega babe. It's deodorant for everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'll, uh, you and me, we'll sit down we'll and talk look at the catalog. I told all my friends, I'm telling you, it is God's gift to women, mega babe. Wow, okay. All yeah, right, send babe. it to me. I mean, you're already a mega babe, but you know, a little more babe. Girl. Don't worry, you're not sweating. I don't see any oh. pit marks. <laughs> the things we talk about, they're like, <laughs> Time. I'm like, well, leave it to Edo and I. Yeah, yeah, of real. course, yeah. <laughs> right before, they're like, you guys have four minutes. Nah, we so got I'm that very covered. excited. Edo, May is going to get in the pool. I'm oh, yay! House for the first time. 
Are we going to have to dodge any showers or anything? Not today. Okay. There's going to be the possibility of maybe a spotty sea breeze shower here and there, okay. but it's the chance is just so low. It's just been left off the board. Uh, but this weekend, you may want to take a look at that radar, especially on Sunday, because there's going to be some storms developing late in the morning and then into the afternoon. So here's a look at your forecast at the beach. We're looking at an 88 in Galveston with winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But then come that afternoon hour Sunday, there's the possibility of an isolated to scattered shower or thunderstorm. And then we're looking around town in Houston. It's going to be a little warmer in the city, 92 for your Saturday, and then it's going to be dropping into the low 80s because of this. We're going to have lots of cloud cover plus that chance of shower activity that's just not really going to be letting the sun warm us up too much. But I do want to show you now the time lapse of downtown Houston because it's absolutely gorgeous. We have some sunshine, just a few clouds out there, but it is feeling just a little bit on the warm side right now. It's 82 degrees. Winds are calm. Humidity 60%, so it feels more like it's 84 degrees out there and we'll continue to feel like it's just a little bit warmer today compared to what we're going to be seeing on the map. So today we're going to be in those low 90s, 91 in Houston, 91 in Conroe, about 92 in Sugarland. But take a look at this uh, heat index as we head into the afternoon. Just a few degrees is what we're going to be seeing. Our temperatures bump up to about 93. Uh, by 3, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. also. So it's going to be one of those days that if you go out to the patio, Maggie, to enjoy uh, like uh, some dinner outside, you definitely want to be in the area where the fans are going. Yes, and I love the fans with the mm -hmm. misters. It's all about the misters. <gasps> oh, yes, ma'am. And but stroller I fans. That's where it's at. Do you have a stroll? Well, you don't need a stroller anymore. No, Get but I never had fan either. And just carry it around. I'm just saying. Oh, wow. Mind blown. I know. I'm teaching you so much. Today. Yes. Yeah. And I have too. You like eight years ago. Swamp by Blondie. Swamp <laughs> by Blondie. You're yeah. welcome, folks. I used to spray them with a water bottle. I mean, that's probably cheap. That's fine, right? <laughs> that's not abuse, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my goodness. I love my Edo. And you know what? That is a wrap on today's show. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I will see you back here on Monday morning, same place, same time for more Houston Abbins. You never know what we might enlighten you with. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.